our last episode on this segment was on Pakistan's private space companies. And today, we are going to talk about Indian private space companies. Ta-da! Please check out our Pakistan episode. I'll put down the links in the description given below. Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO was already doing a phenomenal job with a very restricted budget. And with the recent announcement by ISRO chairman on privatization of Indian space sector, private companies in India are also on the rise in defense and space industry. With this announcement, private companies could directly work with government on their joint space missions. But which are these private Indian space companies? And how close are we in creating something like SpaceX here in India? To be honest, there are many private space companies in India. Rover and satellite designing and building a rocket launch facility. Everything comes under an aerospace company. But here, we will be focusing more on those who already have or have planned rocket launch capacities. This sector is also very wide. But here is the list. I have listed down them based on their payload capacities. So, first let's talk about Skyroot Aerospace. It's a Hyderabad based startup founded in 2018 by these two genius minds. Both Pavan and Naga have previously worked with ISRO and have broad experience from Indian defense and space sector. They share an aim to make space flights as affordable as air flights. Now, let's jump to the main business. They have a series of launch vehicles named Vikram. In Vikram series, they have three rockets, Vikram 1, 2 and Vikram 3. Vikram 1 has a payload range from 225 to 315 kilograms. For Vikram 2 and Vikram 3, it's 410 to 520 and 580 to 720 kilograms respectively. And the based part is, they can launch all of their rockets from mobile launcher within 24 to 72 hours. Say what? Yeah, it's true. And as ISRO has announced privatization, they can now use ISRO's launch facilities as well. Of course, bounded with necessary agreements. Now, let's go to the Bellatrix Aerospace. This company was founded in 2015 by two young engineers, Rohan Ganpati and Yashas Karna. And they operate from Bangalore, Karnataka. Bellatrix has a 19 meter tall Chetak rocket with two stage engine and it has a payload capacity of 150 kg. According to their website, they offer a minimum wait period of less than a month to their customers. But with the latest update, they kind of have kept their rocket program on hold and started focusing more on satellite propulsion instead. You can check more details on their website, which is given in the description below. And finally, it's the time for Agnikool Cosmos. Cool, huh? This company is again founded by two engineers, Srinath Ravichandran and Moin SPM in 2017. Presently, they operate from an incubator from IIT Madras. Now, about their rocket Agniba. It's a two-stage rocket of 18 meter height. It can carry a maximum payload up to 100 kilograms. And it's also launched by a mobile launcher called Dharush. But as we discussed earlier, they can also use ISRO's launch sites. These are the three big private players in Indian space industry who are planning to launch their first rockets in between 2021 to 2022. And remember, ISRO is also planning to launch its first manned mission, Gaganyaan, in the year 2022. If you look at all the founders from our companies, you will find it's full of young talent. 
which indicates how huge the potential of Indian space industry really is. Above, we just included kind of top three only, but there are many other private space companies as well. So here are the honorable mentions. I hope you again like the video. If so, please give a huge thumbs up for me and subscribe to Science Today. And yeah, just comment down which space agency you would love to see next. Till then, sayonara. See you in the next video.